you guys hear me? Oh, there it is. Hi, friends and family. We are asking if you guys can start making your way to the chairs and to the seats. We're going to get started in just a second. Si pueden empezar a tomar sus asientos, ya va a empezar la ceremonia en unos minutos. Muchas gracias. That was my cue, but um, you guys were so happy that you're here. The couple has asked for this to be a completely unplugged ceremony. That means no phones at all, please. Hola, buenas tardes. Bienvenidos a la boda de Rudy and Emily. Welcome to Rudy and Emily's wedding. A little round of applause because I'm just as excited to see them. Como mencionó mi hermana, esta ceremonia están pidiendo que no haya celular. Quiere decir Facebook, Instagram, pictures. Tienen fotógrafos que van a estar tomando fotos, pero sí piden que respeten eso, por favor. Uh, the ceremony will start in a few minutes, so we just wanted to get that detail out. Thank you.
Let's have conversations in the dark. World is sleeping, I'm awake with you. You may be seated. Wow. What a beautiful day for us all to be here together celebrating the love of Rudy and Emily. I'm so excited to be here, to be able to be a part of this. Thank you guys for letting me be a part of your lives. You know, this moment is so special. What you've been through, doesn't matter what you've done. If you're alive, First of all, if you made it through the pandemic, you have a reason to just say thank you, Jesus, even right now. To be here present, you're so blessed right now. But if you're alive, there's hope for you. Hope for a beautiful picture of true love with Jesus Christ. And this marriage shows that to us today. Isn't that beautiful? Unconditional love is good days. It's bad days. So... Whenever you listen to the Bible, this is where a lot of people get lost with the church sometimes, and you hear the Bible talking about best, practice, best practices for marriages, everybody gets caught up in the part 22. Emily, this is all about you. This day is all about her, huh? Amen. <laughs> it says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing, a wife, not a side chick. Not a tailpiece. <laughs> no, man. He who finds a wife. There's a difference between just finding some girl, right? That you're, oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, my girl, whatever. No, no. But finding a wife. Wow. It says, finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. And this is all I want to say with that today, Emily. After salvation in Jesus Christ, marriage is the second most important decision of your whole entire life. A spouse will make or break you. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody say amen to that. <laughs> will make or break you. Let me just say something about this. You think you guys see something beautiful now? This is beautiful. But the favor that God is about to unlock on their life because Rudy found Emily, it's going to be a beautiful, a beautiful picture there won't be any comparison. There won't be any comparison. There, you're not even going to wonder eventually because, you know, when you first get married, the devil will come in probably around year 3.5 and be like, are you sure you shouldn't? I'm like, another girl. I'm going to tell Emily, hey, you know what? I don't know. Blah, 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 Rudy, blah, blah, blah. The devil likes to come in and do that kind of stuff. But the picture that God paints as you just stay together, literally, as you just stay together, the favor that God is going to unlock on you guys. See, marriage is so important to God that he loves making good examples out of people that are willing to follow him. And what I believe is that God is going to make a good example out of you guys. And people, when they look at them, they're going to want to live for Jesus. When people look at them, they're going to say, if they can do it, I can do it too. These people are going to be walking calling cards of the love of Jesus Christ. Like they're going to and be like, oh, I get it. I get love. Have you ever watched a movie and it makes you like, I believe in love. That's what people are going to think when they look at you guys. They're going to say, I believe in love. People that didn't believe in love, they're going to be set free. They're going to say, I believe in love again. When they see your guys' ministry, we won't talk about that today. Let's talk about love today. But it's going to be ridiculous what God does in your life. And I really mean that with all my heart. I believe that and I see that. I know marriage is not usually a time of prophecy, but I believe it. I see it. I see God doing a great thing. Rudy, what God has given you and Emily, there is nothing. It couldn't have been anybody else. It couldn't be anything else, I'm telling you. And Emily, what God has given you and Rudy, people, I'm telling you, when they look at you guys separate in the years to come, they're going to be like, where is the other? That's going to be their nice way, nice way of saying, where's your better half? Because together, they make something perfectly whole and beautiful in the eyes of God. Amen. 
At this time, I'm going to um, step out, and Rudy and Emily have prepared special vows for each other. Following this time of their personal vows, our pastor, Pastor George, is going to come and give the traditional vows, and we're going to say uh, a special prayer. So I'm going to turn this part over to Rudy and Emily. Guys, if you can hand me that mic over there so that we can make sure that we hear exactly what they're saying, because this is going to be a very precious moment. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Okay. Um, is this on? Okay. Rudy, you are a dream come true. Okay. Happiness that fills my heart the smile on my face, and the laughter in my voice. I'm so honored and privileged to be called your wife. In a few minutes. <laughs> I knew you were a special person just by watching the way you treated others. I knew I would always have someone to guide me by watching the way you led others. I knew I would always be taken care of by watching you go out of your way to take care of everyone else. I knew you'd always support my dreams and passions because every time I picked up a new hobby, you'd buy me a math or class just to make me happy knowing I'd find a new hobby next month. The truth is, I loved you way before I even met you because you were the person I had been praying for all along. I've heard people say marriage is 50-50, but I promised to pick up 80 if you could only give me 20. You make me a better person, but have never tried changing me. Today, I am reminded of James 1, 7, where it says, Every good and perfect gift from above, you are that good and perfect gift to me. I promise to be faithful to you and love you through This marriage is my calling. I love you forever. cried so much, so let's see. I, uh, so give me a second. <laughs> okay. Emmy, I waited my for you, and I know that sounds crazy, but the reality is all of mine and my family's prayers, God's best for me. <laughs> Let me t- Think back on our earliest conversations. I won't move from this moment, <laughs> this place. <laughs> and I laugh just like we did. Even before we were officially a couple, we dreamt about our then together. What our lives would be like, our ministries, being parents. It's funny because soon later, your dream. Time, there are a few dates I'll never forget. Bear with me, okay? November 24th, 2017, Beach, California, in the Westin Hotel lobby. 
you asked me if there was anyone there. Why am I crying? Interested in it. I was interested. I remember being shocked, but not just your question. Response. I quickly said, yeah, but I was too scared to tell you it was you. Later that night, you and Bridge took a selfie on my phone, and I posted it later, hoping you would call me or text me or talk to me. And I did. December 21st, the day your mom passed away, you called me just to cry. And it was so special to me. I remember being so honored you felt enough to mourn with me. And it was on that day, 30 days after officially meeting you. Wow, I sound silly. I found love. I couldn't fit. You told Becca, it's cold here. Take my jacket and that. Those words, I got to see how easy it was for you to care for others in a moment you need to be cared for. And in that moment, I got a glimpse of the future and knew one day I'd want my wife to take care of my children as well as to take care of your family. December 29th. I only have a few more, I promise. <clears throat> it was Mama Monty's funeral. You asked me to sing, and everyone knew something was up between us. And I joked off. We both did. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no, that's crazy. We'd never date. And here we are. Anyway, after the funeral, you all decided you decided it would be a great idea to watch Coco after your great grandmother had passed away. We had no idea what it was about, and without spoiling it for everyone who's lived under a rock and hasn't seen it, it was the first and the best movie to watch on that day. Uh, I have mocos. So bad. Thank you, Dad. Okay. You guys bored? No? Okay, thank you. All right. All the emotion in that room. Don't get mad. You kissed me on the cheek. And thanked me for being there with you. And later that night, I totally read too far into your innocent cheek kiss, and I tried to snag a real one. And by the look on your face, I had a lot of work to do. <laughs> Fast forward to April 29, 2018, I asked you to be my girlfriend. And from that moment, my life changed forever. And today, June 14th, 2021, I stand here in front of you, the luckiest man alive. Because I never in a million years thought a guy like me would get to marry a girl like you. Someone so beautiful and so loving and so smart and so funny and so perfect. Thank you for the joy and the love you bring into my life. And thank you for choosing to spend your life with me. And me, I want you to know that more, no matter what we go through in this life, I'll always be here. You kind of stuck with me now, actually. I promise to watch every cheesy romantic comedy with you, even though you've fallen asleep every time we watch a Marvel movie, every single time. When you're down, I promise to be here to lift you up with a box of burnt Cheez-Its and a pina colada slushie in hand. I promise to never forget your favorite snacks or your Chick-fil-A order. And when you're, when you're scared, I promise to be here to comfort you. I promise to watch... When you're worried, I promise to hold you close. I commit to always encouraging you to be all that you want to be. And for what I can't fix, I promise to always remind you of the one who can. I can't promise I'll be perfect, but I can promise I'll work every day to love you like Jesus does. I love you.
What a beautiful moment. Well, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. By the power vested in me, in this great state of California, and God. I, I now pronounce you and why. Right, guys. Oh, now it's working. Okay, you guys, yeah. if you guys could just wait just, just a moment, there will be beverages and some um, light snacks over here, but do not enter the reception area quite. You're more than welcome to just hang out for just a second. V is very, very.